Hey guys, so in this video we're going to talk about how you keep your body paragraphs on topic because it's really important for you to stay focused in your body paragraphs and not start to wander as you write. It's really the, the main thing is coming up with a good plan to say this paragraph is going to be about this and then stick to the plan throughout right. the writing. So here, why is it important to stay on topic? You don't want somebody to be lost and confused as they walk down the path, which is your paper. And so as you move into your body paragraphs, you want to make sure that whoever is reading your body paragraphs knows exactly what the paragraph is going to be about and that it's focused and on task. Because if you start to wander off task within those body paragraphs, you're going to have a lost, confused soul like this poor little guy in the video, in the picture. Yeah, I feel very sad for him. Okay, so the first thing that's going to help your audience make sure they understand what your paragraph is going to be about is a topic sentence. Your topic sentence is actually probably one of the most important parts to each body paragraph, and it has three main functions. First, it supports the essay's thesis statement, so you know your whole paper is about one big thesis statement, one big claim. Well, now your body paragraphs are supposed to support that thesis statement, and your topic sentence should always go back to that thesis statement. It's going to unify the content of a paragraph, so I know that everything in this paragraph is going to kind of be about that topic sentence, so it's going to help me be like, okay, here's a topic sentence, so I'm going to expect to see information about that. And it kind of advises the reader on the subject to be discussed and how the paragraph will discuss it, so it kind of like gives a little street sign to the reader saying, hey, this paragraph is about this topic, turn on to this paragraph and... All the houses look like this. Turn it to the next paragraph and all the houses look a little different. So once you have had a good topic sentence, the thoughts within a paragraph should flow naturally from that topic sentence. The first section of a paragraph should include the topic sentence and provide a transition. Then in your body, um, you discuss the ideas, you use the facts, you put in your arguments and analysis, but it should be all about that particular topic. You all shouldn't about mention, everything related to the topic sentence. You shouldn't mention anything new uh, or anything different from that, that topic. So if you're talking about um, bicycles, you shouldn't start talking about cars. Right. Because it's only about bicycles in that paragraph. And then in your conclusion, one brief little sentence at the end of each paragraph summarizes the connection between the information discussed in the body and that controlling idea of the paragraph, that big main topic of the paragraph. So let's take a look at a sample. And you can see that we have put in red the topic sentence. And then you'll notice that the rest of the paragraph kind of follows along with that topic sentence, and then the concluding sentence, which is also in red, um, kind of brings the whole issue back so that we've kind of wrapped everything up. Although most people consider piranhas to be quite dangerous, they are, except in two main situations, entirely harmless. So I stop. I expect to now see that this is going to be about piranhas. It's going to tell me about when they're going to be dangerous in two situations, but how it's mostly otherwise going to be harmless. And this is something, wow, I didn't know. I thought piranhas were always kind of dangerous, scary fish. Piranhas really feed on large animals. They eat smaller fish and aquatic plants. When confronted with humans, piranhas' instinct is to flee, not attack. But there are two situations in which a piranha bite is likely. The first is when a frightened piranha is lifted out of the water. For example, if it has been caught in a fisher's net. The second is when the water level in the pool where the piranhas are living falls too low. A large number of fish may be trapped in a single pool, and if they are hungry, they may attack anything that enters the water. Yum! These two cases happen very rarely and are easily avoidable. So for the most part, humans should have, shouldn't have to fear piranha attacks. So you can see the closing sentence ties right back to the main idea of the whole paragraph. And all of the information in blue is all of the analysis and support and, and information needed to support that topic sentence and teach me that piranhas aren't as dangerous as I thought they were. So talk about sharks in here? They might, uh, not, alligators? Not in this paragraph. Not, uh, maybe in the next paragraph we'll talk about sharks. Maybe the next paragraph we'll talk about alligators. This paragraph, all about piranhas. Yep. So that's kind of, so the topic sentence shows that and the whole thing stays on topic. Too often we see papers where the paragraph doesn't have a purpose and it just kind of jumps all over the place. So make sure you keep your paragraphs focused and you'll be well on your way to achieving mastery when it comes to keeping your body paragraphs on topic. All right.